What is up guys, Jag on Tech here, and before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting my channel for the past couple months. Although if you're new here, welcome. Yeah, I've been doing this for a couple months, and this actually marks my 10th video, which is really not a big deal for most people, but it is for me. I got a long way to go, and I have a lot of videos in store, so I hope you guys tune in for that and subscribe to my channel. And once again, thank you. Anyway, have any of you noticed that not a lot of tech companies tell us about every single feature found in our phones? And sometimes these features actually become very useful or sometimes revolutionary. Like what Apple did with AirDrop and what Samsung did with Good Luck Customization. They didn't tell us all about that. We only found out through articles online or some videos here on YouTube because some people just discovered it on their own. Although there's this one feature out there that was announced by a company, a big company actually, along with a smartphone, but it hasn't been getting a lot of attention ever since. Well, at least for me. So allow me to introduce to you Samsung DeX. This is a feature found in Samsung flagships that turns your smartphone into a full-blown desktop. Judging from the name itself, it literally means Samsung desktop. It's a very powerful tool for people who juggle the work between their phone and their computer because now you can put everything in one place. This was first released alongside the Galaxy S8. So if any of you own a phone from the S8 or Note 8 series all the way to the S20 series, you're in luck. When it was first released in 2017, you were required to use this dock that you had to plug in into your computer in order to activate Samsung DeX. It was a much more complicated process back then and probably led to poor sales since you had to spend more money just for another feature. But after a few major updates, Samsung made it a lot easier for their customers by using just a few things probably lying around your house right now. Your smartphone, laptop, and your charging cable. Okay, so what exactly can you do with Samsung DeX? Well, basically everything that you can do on a computer. It can launch every single app in your phone without any restrictions, so this means you can resize every app window and use them all at once, just like a normal computer. And since the program is powered by the phone itself, everything that you do on Samsung DeX will reflect on your phone as well. There are many cool things you can do with Samsung DeX, but I believe this is where it stands out. Number one, you can use your phone as a secondary screen. If you heavily rely on your phone for most of the work that you do, you can use Samsung DeX to have a bigger and better space to do all those things while let's say playing a movie on Netflix or YouTube video on the side. In my case, I decided to open up Microsoft PowerPoint to have a bigger canvas and easily create a presentation. And I was able to play a video on my phone. So if you want to dedicate your laptop for some actual work and your phone for online shopping, social media, and video streaming, you can. All right, second, access to the camera app. If you're someone who uses their phone as their main camera for everything, and there are some shots you've been wanting to pull off, well, this pretty much solves your problem. Samsung DeX is able to give you a live feed of your camera through the monitor. You're just stuck with photo and video mode though, which is okay because I don't think anyone uses any other mode just as much. But yeah, this is very useful for people who would want to execute some top-down shots, so you don't have to struggle with stretching over the phone to get the perfect frame or the ones who use the rear camera to record some A-rolls because now you don't have to keep going back and forth to check if everything's in frame. Oh, and you can run any other app that you want on your phone while still using the camera app on DeX. So that's another example of your phone being a second screen. And since you can use the camera app on Samsung DeX, you can also use it as your own webcam. So if you need to be in a Zoom call or you just wanna have a chat with your friends through video and you don't have a webcam lying around, you can always use your phone. What's nice about this is it uses the original resolution of the camera itself, so it comes out a lot clearer than most webcams in the market. This also goes for other apps too that allow you to use your phone's camera. Number three, all the settings and notifications of your phone can be accessed with Samsung DeX. You can send and receive text messages on here, you can change the appearance depending on what you want, set the wallpaper, and unlocking your screen using your phone. It pretty much duplicates your phone with just a whole different user interface. Oh, and another thing is, your laptop does not need internet connection in order for you to surf the web. Since your phone is basically the brains of this whole thing, all you need to do is turn on mobile data on Samsung DeX and that will enable you to surf the web. If ever, you know, you lose your Wi-Fi. And last but not the least, you can use your phone as a touchpad or a keyboard. So there are two ways you can use Samsung DeX, but only one will turn your smartphone into a touchpad. One is by plugging your phone directly into a laptop and launching the Samsung DeX app. And the second is if you have a monitor with an HDMI port, just plug in your phone into that HDMI port, go to DeX settings, and that's where you can find the option of using it as a mouse and a touchpad. Along with using this, you're able to customize the touchpad for easier navigation. You can map a single tap, two finger tap, up to a four finger tap in order to do any command that you want. 
kind of like a shortcut. So you can map it to go to the home screen, recent apps menu, or to go back. Now there are a few things that come along with using this much power from something this small. Your phone gets really really hot if you're using it as a second screen or you're just keeping the screen on all the time to the point that it actually shuts down Samsung DeX on its own. But I think that's kind of understandable. The optimization is okay, like there's a bit of lag here and there, but I wouldn't say it's bad at all. It's just not as smooth as you would think, but don't get me wrong, it still works pretty well. Also, the Spotify quick menu always disappears whenever I skip through songs or even when I pause it. And when using the camera, it doesn't change orientation as you shift the position of the phone. It's something I can live with, but just a heads up for you guys. Although the best part about it is you don't have to pay for an app to use it on a computer because it's already free on the Google Play Store. Now, I know some of these things can be done with your phone and your laptop separately, but I find it very interesting that you can do all these things with just your smartphone. And I wanted to share to you guys a list of tricks that you can do in order to take full advantage of this feature. And if this is something that you think will help you out with school or work, go ahead and try it out. It's a really cool feature that's not just a gimmick because you can actually get something out of it. Or you know, you can just mess around with it because why not get the most of what you paid for? I just hope Samsung gives it a lot more attention and does a lot more tweaking to it in order to give everybody a smoother experience. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and leave a comment below if ever you guys get the chance to try out Samsung DeX for yourselves. I really want to know your thoughts about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. With our smartphone, switch, 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 switch. Online shopping and video, video source of power. Since, bro, to the point that, oh my god, why not mess? Because why not mess? You know, maybe 